Hello my fabulous sprinkles, Miss Venomous Cupcake here with a Sketchbook Sunday video. And today you're getting a lot of Mikus, yes, many Mikus you are getting. Uh, I'm drawing said Mikus in my Crescent Sketchbook with lots of different types of markers. You will know something a little different in these drawings. They are in my very anime style. Uh, those who know me know that I have many styles, but this one this is what I've been practicing to be my most anime, and I did this for a reason, because I really wanted to talk about the topic of, you know, people who seem to think that anime is not considered art. And I really felt like I wanted to deliver my two cents on the matter. Uh, I do believe that people should be able to draw what they love, uh, even if it's anime and at the same time always seek to improve by drawing other styles of art. Uh, you may not be particularly great at it, but I think there's something to learn in each style or something that you try, even a different medium. And I feel like as an artist there should be value seen in it. Um, I, I think people as individuals should, you know, really take what they can and put it into their own artwork in order to make it their own style and present the world with a piece that you know only they could create. And before you get your pitchforks out, um, please listen. I want to make it abundantly clear that I'm not saying to not, well I'm not saying don't draw anime. I'm saying draw it, but draw other things. Uh, I'd like to take you on a small trip uh, back in time to when I was a young confection. And I was in high school, and of course it's an art class, as most of these stories take place. And, uh, oh goodness, how can I explain this? I would like to say first of all that, you know, both ends might have been a little bit wrong in this situation, but my art teacher would tell me, you know, anime art sucks, you shouldn't draw anime, uh, you should stick to the portraits that you're good at. Uh, back in the day, I was heavily, heavily into Death Note, still am, loved Takeshi Obata's artwork, and if you don't know him, he is a wonderful manga artist. I constantly draw inspiration from him, and um, this is a perfect example because I picked up portraits as I wanted to get better at realism, um, and I felt like the only way to do that was to do portraits and to do you know, still lifes and understand shading a bit more and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I feel like I did learn a lot from that, by the way. Uh, if you look at my past artwork on DeviantArt, ooh, it's so cringy. You'll see a lot of like my anime stuff and then the realism and then after the anime I started getting, or after the realism I started getting better at my anime. But um, anyway, I feel like it was too my own detriment that, you know, I took it really hard the way she said it. I felt like she didn't care about me as an artist. Um, she was saying my art was crappy, etc, etc. Um, I really should have gotten past my ego and looked at what she was saying at a, uh, at a different angle, maybe. You know, she could have said it a little bit differently. But I should have really thought, you know, I could be a lot further than I am uh, at this point because I do see a lot of artists who were my age back then and they are just so phenomenal. Like Nautica Williams, um, the JMI Creations, he's actually, oh my gosh, like the shading in his art is fantastic. But anyway, I'm digressing again and again uh, and I feel like on her end, she shouldn't have said, you know, the only thing you're good at is portraits. And um, then I wouldn't have felt like a portrait machine, basically. Uh, because at the time I felt, you know, cameras exist for a reason. <laughs> People take pictures of, this, of themselves all the time, and I'm flubbing my words up as usual. But uh, they take pictures of themselves all the time. They don't need me drawing them. I mean, it is what it is, but, you know, on one hand, you know, if you're someone that thinks that anime is not art, 
kind of think about what you're saying to people and what you want to come across as to people. If you want to be a butthole, I mean fine, but it's not really going to help anybody. Um, on the other hand, if you're an artist and you, you know, you want to draw anime, as I said, draw anime, learn more things, like continue to learn and grow. And if someone gives you criticism like that, maybe there's just a little bit you can pick out of it and say, well, maybe I need to improve my perspective or my shading or something a little bit better. Um, it's not saying don't draw this, draw what makes you happy. But, you know, I feel like, you know, improvement is always the goal because as I said, post-realism, I was really bad at anime. I was not as good as some of these people on YouTube, mm, I'm telling you. And then realism, I was like, eh, I'm okay. But then I learned more about shading and coloring and line quality and etc. And then after, I was so much better at anime. Even now, I am so much better at drawing anime. Um, there is a draw this again piece that I'm working on and I'm going to film it. You guys will see how, I mean, it's wow. Like I pay more attention to detail than I used to. You know, I know my coloring is better. Uh, my backgrounds are a little bit better. I'm still working on those. But as I said, my point is draw what makes you happy. Always seek to improve. Uh, if you're someone who says that art is, uh, anime is not real art, um, or anime manga is not real art, uh, really think about what you're saying to the person or how you want to come across. Um, like I said, if you want to be a butthole, go ahead. That's, that's your prerogative. But if you really want to see this artist improve and you're another artist and you do art, you know, give them tips and tricks. Like, uh, tutorials on YouTube. Oh, I bought my computer. Uh, tutorials on YouTube. Um, even private criticisms or critiques. That's what I do. I do private critiques with my friends and I do it very, you know, I guess the word is nuanced. I have no clue <laughs> what to use in this situation. I'm very uh, gentle with it. Uh, there are things that can, can always be improved. I am harder on my own work than I am anyone else's. So there it is. I mean, if you want to see improvement, just talk to the people. Think about what you're going to say to them or how you're going to say it. And it could it could help them so much more. And they can end up thanking you later. Um, and people that hear people being buttholes, um, I think I said it earlier, just take their comments with a grain of salt. If there's no nothing you can pull out of it, just forget it. Um, just draw what makes you happy in that case. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that's basically the gist of what I wanted to say. I've recorded this so many times, and I'm going to say it again and again and again. Draw what makes you happy. Always seek to improve. Um, and anyone can improve. I'm still improving, as I said. I'm working on perspective, and it is, uh, it is hellacious. I am telling you, it's terrible. <laughs> but I will get there one day. Um, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do hope that my opinions on this matter didn't offend or hurt anybody. That was absolutely not my intention if that happened. Um, I would love to know what you guys think on the subject. If you're, you know, all about anime art or against anime art, no one's going to be censored unless you're going to be a butt. Um, so just down below, comment whatever you feel you'd like to say on the subject. I would love to know. I love knowing what other people think. Um, just, you know, it is what it is. Like this video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Keep it sweet. Bye!